Hey guys and what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 19. Um, so I've still got my multiplayer map in the server, so that's all still going, but I decided to maybe... I thought about doing a bit of single player and maybe doing some episodes and, you know, a little bit of just my own sort of farm. that's not in multiplayer sort of thing. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, yeah, we're going to do a bit of fertilizing tonight. It's only going to be a probably a shorter sort of episode. So we're just going to do some fertilizing. So let's go ahead and jump in the um, buggy and we'll go and get into the tractor, which is up at the other part of the farm. This is the old stream map, I believe. Um, I'm going to say um a lot, probably. So, yeah, this is the old stream map. So I hope you guys really like it. I'm quite fond of the map at the moment. I, I never played it on 17, but I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing at the moment or here on 19. But um, we've just got some grass paddocks that need fertilizing and stuff like that. Just so we can get a good, um, a good yield out of them. I want some good quality crop to make some hay and some silage. So that's kind of what's on the agenda later on. I started harvesting. I believe one oat paddock has been harvested. And I believe I'm about to make a start on a wheat paddock. So harvesting will begin on them soon. Oh, on the wheat paddock. I've already harvested the oat one, I should say. And then both those paddocks will be baled. So I don't know if I'll sell the bales. I'll probably end up keeping them, to be honest. Because that's kind of my thing. I like to have a large quantity of them. That's just my thing, I guess. But, um, yeah. Alright, here's the John Deere. We have a couple of older John Deeres. We have a... I think it's a 6920... It's a front end loader. And we also have a. I think it's a 7810. It's a little bit of an older John Deere as well. It's older than the 6920, though. The 7810 would be like an early 2000 model, and then the 6920, I would imagine, would be like a 2010, maybe? 2008 model, maybe? I'm not sure. Something around there. But yeah, we're gonna head down back down to the main part of the farm. And we'll chuck on the um, fertilizer spreader. And we'll go ahead and make a start on that. This is a modded John Deere 6M. I, I really like the base game, the vanilla one, but I feel like Giants lacked a little bit of work into it, to be honest. Um, they didn't put in the correct dash. So this one, this is a modded one which has a correct dash. You can, you can see your fuel and all that, and your speed and your hours that are on the tractor. Um, a beacon was also added to this one, so that's really cool. They added a license plate, which is another thing that I like. The only thing I don't like is the front linkage. I wish that was an option that could be rid of, like we could get rid of that and just have it like a normal front end loader, but that's literally probably my only criticism for the mod. Um, yeah, I just prefer this one a lot more than the base game one, but you know, what are you going to do? It's just how it is sometimes, I guess. This is our fertilizer spreader. It's an Amazon. I'm pretty sure that's a modded fertilizer spreader as well. I'm wondering whether we should put some more fert in here, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how we go. I think that'll be enough, to be honest. If it's not, we can come down here and grab some more. There's like two bags still there. So it won't take long at all. Alright, we're not going to do the spreading in first person because I just can't do it. And I haven't got GPS installed in the tractor, so... Um, yeah, we're not going to be using GPS. I still haven't quite mastered it or anything like that. I should check this paddock really quick, actually. Does it even need... I don't even think it needs fertilizing, this paddock. And that's not even grass, that's why it doesn't need fertilizing. Mistakes are made. <laughs> uh, too funny. Already going in the wrong direction. Alright. 
Trying to remember what paddocks I've planted for grass and what I haven't. I thought that was a grass. Ah, oh, it's the one around the corner further that's a grass paddock. That's okay. All is good. I know there's a grass paddock up here, so we'll check that really quick. My belief was there was some fertilising to be done. I hope there was, so I don't look like an idiot. We don't want that. Let's have a look. Growth. Apparently they're all actually okay. By the looks of this. Seven could probably do with some fertilising. See, this paddock's looking fine too. Yeah, that paddock's fine. Paddock 21 needs a bit of fert on it though. So we've got paddock 21 and paddock 7. Um, these ones are crop ones. I'll do them later on because the crop's at a different stage. Um, and this other paddock four, that's another grass paddock, but, um, that clearly doesn't need fertilising because it's dark blue as well. Which is okay. All is good. I mean, we're saving money on fertiliser if some of it's all good, am I right? I mean, that's a good thing in my, in my book. But um, yeah, we just want to put some fertilizer on. That way we get a better, you know, a better quality and a better yield out of the grass when it comes to actually mowing it and baling it and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't know if I will show the whole, the whole fertilizing thing. I'll probably skip little bits and pieces. I haven't figured out how to use time lapse with my editing software, so that's I don't know if that'll be something that I'll do eventually or not because I just. Don't know how to do it. I'm, I know how to edit videos though, so I mean, I can do that. But um, I'm kind of just trying out the farming sim videos because I know a lot of you guys like to watch the GTA and I like playing GTA, but I just haven't been feeling it lately. So that's kind of why I've been playing a lot more farming sim and why I've been streaming a lot more farming sim and Siege. I'm just a little burnt out of the whole 5M, I guess what you could say but I'm sure it'll be back soon I'm sure of that it's a beautiful morning on the map though Looking like it's going to get a bit cloudier later. I don't think we'll get any rain, but you never know. It could happen. Could happen just yet. I just don't like first person when I'm doing field work like this. You just can't see what you're doing. And, I mean, all you guys get to see is the inside of the cab, which I prefer, personally, is looking in the inside of the cab, but it also makes it not as exciting for you guys because you can't see what's actually going on. So there's that. But that's that paddock done. And I think the next one was paddock seven. So we'll go ahead, go ahead and head down to paddock seven. Another thing I like about this John Deere mod is when you turn, it's kind of like the actual driver of it leans a bit to the side, which is kind of cool. If you turn sharp enough, it just leans out a bit. I like it. Another thing I like about this map a lot is this bit here, this crossing. That's a really cool thing to have in a map. I personally think anyway. But yeah. So, this will be, like I said, a shorter video. We'll just do some fertilising and then hopefully the next video um, we'll either be doing the harvesting of the last of that wheat paddock or, you know, some baling. Some baling of the crop paddocks and, you know, hopefully there'll be another video of the whole grass being mowed and, you know, the raking and the tethering and the baling. 
But yeah, so there's a lot of fun to come, hopefully. And I hope you guys are willing to stick in it with me and have some fun. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell the bales or keep them. I'll probably keep a lot of them. But I would like to get to the point where maybe we make enough that we can sell them to make a bit of extra money. Because we have $147,000 at the moment, but I've only got like 20 cows, so I need more cows. And cows cost money. I think they're like $2,500 a cow, so... You know, you figure that out. They can put us down the shitter pretty quickly. So the best thing we can do is try and make some make some money. And that can be off crops and off our bales that we make as well. And not to mention, we can make money off the milk as well. So the more cows we have, the more milk we're going to produce as well. But also, the more cows we have, the more feed that we have to produce as well. Because more cows eat a lot more food than the 20 cows I have now. But, um, it's a really nice map. I really like it. The paddocks aren't too big and they're not too small and you know it's just a nice map it's nicer for some older machinery or some smaller machinery you don't need to have huge tractors or huge plows or you, you know you can just have take your time and have a bit of fun with it which is something that i really like i think it's a cool thing to have i do and that's paddock 7 done. Pretty sure that is the last of the grass paddocks, so we'll take one last look. Yeah, well, we missed little bits and pieces, but that doesn't matter too much. These aren't our paddocks. We only own this, this bit here from like there to there. We own ground 2, 3, 4. We don't own ground 1, but we own the rest of this. But um, yeah, so we're going to drive back to the shed. Make sure nothing's coming. I like the dairy on this map as well. You know, it's got a couple of grass yards there for the cows to um, look at. We nearly hit that post because I wasn't looking where I was going. Um, yeah, it's just seeing two robotic dairies, like milking plants in there. Which is cool. Put this back in the shed. If we can get in there. Lower that. It's a very nice map. I, I really do like the map. So we got the silos there for the grains. Just there to the right. Couple of, uh, that's the dairy to the left, obviously. To the right, we've got some outbuildings, you know, some sheds. Um, to the left, we've got a silage bunker. This is the uh, That's the older John Deere, the 6920. I really like that. That's probably one of the... When I was got my first job on a farm, that was kind of my first tractor I learned in, was a 6630. So one that was just a tiny bit smaller than that. I mean, I've been driving tractors before them, but officially on a job that was probably my first tractor that I learned to drive in. Um, so that was kind of cool. That mod is very similar, it's just a little bit bigger. Um, that's the slurry tank, so that's really cool. Up here is just a bit of an open area, I haven't really put anything up here just yet. And then we've got two more silage pits just there, and then that's the older 7810 just there. But we're going to go ahead and get up here and get onto the road. Turn our beacon on because we're about to get onto the main road. Nothing's coming. I always forget in this map which side of the road I'm meant to drive on. Oh, that's our wheat paddock that we need to harvest eventually. Um, that's a bit of more of a grass paddock there. We'll probably end up mowing that to be honest as well. 
I ended up cutting half of it in half so that to put some sheds and stuff in though. Because um, there's only like three sh storage sheds down there for light vehicles and stuff, so I decided to put some up here. I thought we'd expand a little bit. You know, we're going to have hay bales and stuff, and I thought up here would be just a nice spot to have some of the stuff. You know, to put some of the gear. Got a water tank, a pressure cleaner, fuel. Um, we got the storage shed there. I'll end up bringing the seed and all that up here and putting it into that shed, to be honest. That's where the baling and sort of, you know, the grass sort of feed technology is going to be in that shed just there. We've got our little class mower. I'm a big fan of that class mower, to be honest. I like it a lot. We'll go ahead and park the tractor. But yeah, that is going to do it for this one, guys. Like I said, it's going to be a lot of a short of a... Ugh, I can't even talk. It's going to be a lot shorter of an episode. I apologise for the stuttering. I can't talk sometimes. Um, but yeah... Hopefully the next one will be a bit longer. We'll do the harvesting of either bales or whatever it may be. But um, yeah, thanks guys for hanging out. And I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you all next time.